y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Plan With Me video, so if you are new here, please consider subscribing because we do this kind of thing every month. And I do like to know if y'all like these spreads or anything that I do here, so if you find any different page or anything that I'm doodling and you like it, please give this video a thumbs up because I always like to know if you guys like what I'm creating. As you can see from the cover page that I'm already starting, this month's theme is football. I wanted to do kind of like a football sports theme this month because it is back to school time. I go to The Ohio State University and football is a big deal here. <laughs> The Buckeyes start their season in September and so I just wanted to, you know, get ready for game days in my bullet journal and in real life. So as you can see, I did start to decorate the helmets and their jerseys and their outfits in general as OSU football players and have them kind of playing some football or standing around on a football field with a nice big banner that says September on the front. I did want to finish up this spread with just a nice thick yellow border just to tie in those empty white spaces on the corners. Moving on to the next page is my month at a glance page and y'all know I love the vertical layouts for my month at a glance but instead of using the whole page this month I decided to split it in half and do kind of a brain dump at the bottom. I'm planning to use this brain dump page as a page to write down any ideas or anything that I have to put in for October or the following month. That way, as things pop up throughout the month, I don't forget about them. The next page is a super fun page that I'm really excited for because like I said, OSU starts their football season in September and of course I have tickets. So this page is kind of my tracker to keep track of when the games are, who we're playing, and then at the end to keep track of the score after all of the games. So I decided to draw tickets for each game that OSU will be playing with the date that they're going to be playing on and two lines inside the ticket for me to keep score of the home and away team. If you don't go to OSU, you might not know what block season means, but block is basically the parties that happen before game days, and since this is kind of a game day tracker page, I of course had to call it block season. On the left side of the tickets, I did write OSU because of course that is my team. And on the right side of the tickets, I did fill it in with the teams that we will be versing. I decided to make it more fun by filling in each team with their respective colors. That way this page is kind of colorful as well as informational. I am just super excited for game days to start. I'm super excited for blocks to start because I am a part of Greek life, so we do host blocks with other fraternities on campus and they're just so much fun. It's literally the highlight of fall semester. The next page is my goals page for this month and to keep it up with the sports theme, I decided to turn it into a football field with the bottom of the football field stating my two goals for the month, which is to save $2,000 and to you know, keep up on my YouTube channel. And on each half of the football field are footballs that get to track those habits that could lead me to my goals, which are at the other side in the touchdown zone. So each goal has four little footballs that I get to color in each time I complete one. Once I complete all four, that means I have reached my goal and I've reached that touchdown zone. I just thought this was a cute way to keep track of my goals, but to still keep with the sports theme this month. The next page is my bills and expense trackers. At the top I do have my bills, and I did put little boxes on the left hand side, that way I can mark off once all of those bills are paid. And on the bottom I do have columns for the items, 
where they're bought at and how much those items were. That way I can keep track of what I'm buying, when I'm buying, and how much I'm spending. <laughs> These pages are very simple just for me to stay organized and keep track of my finances this month. But I did have them follow the sports theme and have each header turn into a little banner. My next page is super cute and I absolutely love it because of course to stay with the sports theme I decided to do cheerleaders as my habit trackers. So these cheerleaders are holding two pom-poms each which have 15 wedges in them each. So that way each cheerleader tracks one habit and I get to color in a wedge of the pom-pom once I complete that habit. And this is a little life hack for y'all. The cheerleaders are silhouettes, and no, I did not freehand them. I pulled up a silhouette picture on my phone and ended up putting my phone underneath that page so that way I could trace it through the paper on top of my phone. And I just think that's such a bullet journal hack. If you ever wanted to doodle something that's super intricate, you can always look it up on your phone and trace it through the page. My next page is my monthly view page. As y'all know, I do a month at a glance at the beginning, which is vertical. This horizontal spread, which is a full month spread on two pages, is used to track my YouTube videos and when I want to film and what I want to post when. And that's why these boxes are always super big. That way I can fit all of my ideas in them. I decided to give each day its own separate color just to make this page more colorful. As well as a stats area on the left hand side with a goal post to stick with the sports theme. In the stats area, I like to keep track of my YouTube subscribers kind of on a daily basis. I usually check it once or twice a week, and I just like to take note of what day I've checked it at and how many I'm at. That way I can keep track of my growth on a daily basis and not just a monthly basis. At the bottom, I did add my ribbon of footballs, basketballs, soccer balls, sports balls in general that I did on my month at a glance page at the beginning to kind of tie it all together. The last page that I'm going to have for y'all is my weekly. On the left hand side I'm drawing up my game plan which is where I'll put all of my events or work schedules, key things that are going on for the week in those boxes that I kind of made to look like a mini scoreboard. And then to stick with the same color scheme I drew little lines with the days of the week on top and that's where I'm going to keep my homeworks or my running to-do lists for each day. In the right hand side I did have some extra room so I put in another cheerleader silhouette which I did trace on my phone again <laughs> with a notes section on the right hand corner to match my game plan. And that is it for this month's plan with me. I hope y'all loved it. If you did or you found any of these spreads super cool, please give this video a thumbs up. I like to know what you guys like. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because we have so much fun on this channel and not just with plan with me videos. And that is going to be it for me for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!